Hello, I'm Alvin. Welcome back to Tasty's Making It Big, the show where I make giant food for my friends. Yesterday, I got a really fun message from my friend Victor, who was my very first guest on my very first episode of Making It Big, where I made him a giant burger. I think he has a surprise for me, so let's go see what he said. Yo, yo, Alvin, what's good, my bro? Listen, uh, my birthday's coming back around and I was wondering if you might be able to help me out with a little something. Last time for my birthday, a couple years back, you hooked it up with a massive version of my favorite cheeseburger. So this year, I wanna do things a little bit more traditional and I was wondering if you might be able to hook it up with a massive version of my favorite birthday cake. My favorite birthday cake is from Momofuku Milk Bar. There's no better cake. It's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm sure if anybody could do it, it's you, my bro. Okay, well, Vic said he wanted the Momofuku Milk Bar birthday cake. This is Christina Tosi's recipe. Gonna put in a lot of softened butter, brown sugar, a shortening. If you're not familiar with Momofuku Milk Bar, it is a fan favorite destination. Started out in New York, they have a lot of locations now. <sighs> Christina Tosi also did an episode on Chef's Table about it and her life story, and it's probably one of my favorite Chef's Table episodes. Drugs, uh, <laughs> butter, sugar, shortening, and more sugar. I, I'm not. I'm not drunk, I promise. This is gonna cream for a while. Next up, gonna combine buttermilk, which is very interesting for a cake. So grapeseed oil and clear vanilla extract. So this stuff is not brown. It's the, the more like vanilla birthday cake kind of extract. I think this is actually very important to give this cake a signature flavor without making it look too dark. A little mix. So Todd has been working very hard to make this butter and sugar nice and fluffy. It's like doubled in size, so I think it's ready for some eggs. Eggs go in one at a time. Whoop. Ooh, that was fun. Whoop. I like that. Whoop. 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 Four more bloops. Whoop. Whoop. I hope you guys are not tired of me saying bloop. Whoop. Whoop. Wow, look at that texture. That's so fluffy and silky. This little buttermilk oil vanilla mixture gets slowly streamed in, get every last drop. This looks great. Gonna scrape down the sides a bit. That's important. It looks like cheesecake batter. We just like those soft, beautiful, luscious ribbons. We're gonna add the flour. And in classic making big fashion, Alvin is probably gonna spill quite a lot of this. Alvin is going slow. Why is Alvin talking in third person? Alvin doesn't know. Don't spill, Alvin. Sorry, Todd, I'm hitting his head really hard. Oh, wow. It only took five episodes, but I don't think I spilled that at all. And then we have baking powder, salt, and signature item, rainbow sprinkles. I don't want to overmix the batter, so I'm going to take it out. I'll get you off. Come on, get off. What the heck, dude? Oh, there we go. This batter is like a cloud. It's so airy. And to smooth it out, cue the blue Danube waltz. That was fun. And for the final touch, more sprinkles to make it rain. This is the cake batter. Time to bake this one and about 20 more of these. So we're gonna go back and bake some cakes. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, while the cake bakes, I'm going to make the frosting. We're gonna start with all the fats. So two sticks of softened butter, cream cheese. I love cream cheese. And shortening. All right, everybody become friends, okay? Some salt, some baking soda, and a very interesting ingredient, citric acid. I'm not a scientist, so I might be wrong, but citric acid is derived from fruits, things like citrus. So lemon, orange, anything that has that flavor. So it adds a really nice acidity and sourness to this. Seems pretty natural and it reacts with the baking soda so that it kind of makes the frosting fluffy. Like the volcano experiment we did in uh, elementary school where you add baking soda and vinegar. A small version of that is happening inside here so that creates air, I think. It could also be totally wrong. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Here we have some corn syrup or some of that sheen. A lot of clear vanilla extract and another interesting ingredient, glucose. So glucose is another form of sugar. Once the sugar changes the way the things are arranged, the texture changes. So it's like this nice glue-like consistency, but I think it adds a nice texture to this frosting. That's cool. Well, you can't have frosting without a lot of sugar. So I'm gonna put in uh, a lot of sugar. 
I have a strong feeling I'm gonna spill again, but we'll see. Oh, it's oh, we're 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 spilling. Oh, I'm tasting sweet. I can. Oh, it does taste good. That's so weird. I can lick a cloud of sugar. It's getting so fluffy. It's frosting. There's even like little sugar strings that the mixer just like caught up. That's pretty. It's not definitely not hair, but it's like little icicles of sugar. We have a lot of cake going, so a lot of frosting must be made. One of the most interesting things about the Momofuku birthday cake and all their cakes is that they do a little cake crumble inside that gives it a nice, really like crunchy texture. So I'm gonna put some flour, lots of sugar. Get out of there. Sprinkles, baking powder, salt. And we're gonna mix that a little bit. And then more of this clear vanilla extract. We're really going through a lot of this vanilla extract today. And then the vegetable oil, because it makes it look crumbly. So the goal is to kind of get this like a uh, wet sand, pebbly texture situation. It's almost there. Kind of looks like rainbow sand. That is done. Take this guy out onto the tray. Spread him out a little bit. And then to kind of get these like chunks, I'm just gonna like take a handful and like press them into rough little balls and things like that. So it gets this nice little chunky texture. This is fun. It's kind of like digging for gold, but you make your own gold. We have the little cake crumbs of all shapes and sizes. This is gonna go bake and it's gonna get nice and crumbly and delicious. I use a lot of sugar today. All right, so my cake has finished baking and cooling. I'm gonna start cutting out the shapes. We found like a strainer that was really large, MacGyvered it, ripped off all of its insides, and we're gonna use this to cut the cake. All right, let's go in. Ooh, that is soft. Oh yeah. I didn't bake this in a circle because I need these sort of clean cut edges. So that's why baking in here is the rule. Also, this is how milk bar does it. They bake rectangles and they cut really nice pretty circles. So I think it's a great technique. This is some great snacks for later. One cake layer out of many. We have so much cake in the back. I'm gonna go check on that, probably cut some more. We're gonna assemble this cake. All these cake scraps, I'll combine these with some milk, the way that Milk Bar makes their famous cake truffles. All this cake's gotta go somewhere. We're gonna make sure we don't waste any of it. Woo, got a lot of cakes. This is actually only half because, well, we're still making more back there. So I'm gonna assemble the cake as much as I can. All right, to start, get a nice base going. Get some frosting down. Nice little glue. First layer of cake in. And to make sure that this cake stays as still as we can, I'm going to use acetate strips. The same kind of acetate they use at Milk Bar to assemble and stabilize your cake. Quite genius, really. And one thing that Milk Bar cakes also have is a little soak. So this is milk with vanilla, the same clear vanilla extract, so vanilla milk. I think this helps the cake stay moist. I actually do this with any cake I make. I think this really helps achieve that nice, moist, fudgy cake that we all love. Very easy salt. Frosting time. As you can see, we have a giant tub of frosting over here. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Get this nice and smooth. And the cake crumbs actually go here. I like this part a lot. Woo! Kind of acts like a structural component and has a lot of nice crunch and flavor. Pat this down into the cake. And more frosting. Huzzah. Woohoo. Now you might be wondering, hey Alvin, that's a lot of frosting. And you would be exactly right. But it's Victor's birthday. And as you know on this show, it's called making it big, not being a little wuss. So we're gonna keep going. I think birthday cakes are less about maybe the taste of the cake and just the fact that it's a cake to celebrate. But this cake in itself is a reason to celebrate. If it goes well, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> layer one done. Time to keep going. Okay, next one goes in. Beautiful. More acetate. Come on, get down. More of this soak. This smells really good. More frosting. So apparently, after making all this with the team, we're gonna be using over 56 sticks of butter, 28 eight ounce cream cheese packets, and 100 cups of powdered sugar. And that's just the frosting. I hope Victor is not on a diet. I can already feel the weight. Turning this cake has already become a task in itself. All right, crumble time. Oh, we're frosting, okay. Oh, we're going for the bottom of the barrel with this one. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that was only two. In. It's time for ring number two. Let's just say we got a lot of strainers and dismembered a lot of them. We got a tape to mark how high this cake is gonna be. Every mark is like three quarters, almost a foot. So we're just gonna slide that in on over there. Whew. 
I want to take a little break and then I'm going to keep building this cake. Probably going to ask for some help. I'm going to need a lot of coffee, a lot more cake, a lot more frosting, and a lot of mental fortitude. I'll be here for like a couple hours. I'll see you guys in a bit. Whew. It's been 12 years. I'm now sitting on a stool. My lower back has been crying, but this is the result of hard work dedication, lots of teamwork from the culinary team, and most importantly, sugar. Every part of my being has been tested. I'm glad this is the finale of the season because I don't think I could shoot another episode after this. We have six whole rings on this cake, 10 cake rounds, two tubs of frosting, and the only thing holding this up besides the rings are hopes, prayers, thoughts, and dreams. Arms and wrists have been pushed to their limit as well. Speech is slowing, vision is blurring, palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's frosting on my apron. It's all funfetti. Couple of last strokes to smooth it out. And I'm gonna take a nap. In 30 minutes, I'm gonna get this guy into the freezer to set up. He's going to have to chill overnight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ugh. It's day two. We have the cake out of the freezer, freezing overnight so it's stable. And we also have more cake crumbs, sprinkles, and cake truffles that the culinary team and I made, mostly the culinary team, from the cake scraps. So these are actually inspired by the cake truffles that Momofuku Milk Bar sells. Mmm, good. Cool. Now to the main task. I want to try to get these rings off. We have fire. Don't try this at home. All right, here we go. Just kind of defrost the sides. All right, that should be okay. Let's get these rings off. Oh, first one came off pretty easy. Let's see if I can get you off here. Okay, he's spinning. I gotta wedge it. Physics. Come on. Ugh. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Two. Oh God, <laughs> this spoon is the best spoon I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, oh, nope. Why are we here? Just to suffer? Give me a stool. Yes, it's going. I went to the gym yesterday, so I can do this today. Two more. Come on, go up, higher, rise. Why do we fall, Master Bruce? I mean, Master Bruce, so we can learn to get back up. That doesn't really apply here, but it reminds me of that movie. This is what like a corset feels like. Oh, <laughs> the force of that threw me back. Ugh. One more. It's coming up, I think. Ugh. This is a tight fit. Oh, I see, the cake is curving, that's why. Okay, with a lot of help and muscles from the culinary team, we have achieved, woohoo, top ring. Time to peel off this acetate. It's been protecting the cake the whole time. Ooh. I'm gonna spend some time smoothing out the edges. The last touch is to do some vinyl decorating. Some sprinkles, and then the cake crumbs. Just gonna put them on. It's Victor's birthday, so we have a beautiful candle the art team made. In you go. Oh, this is gonna be, ooh, no, ooh. It's going in very easily. I think this is it. Giant version of the cake that Vic requested. Momofuku Milk Bar birthday cake. Approximately 50 pounds. Very, very heavy. We did it. I'm so tired. <laughs> this is the actual Momofuku milk bar birthday cake. We got one. As you can see, there is quite a size discrepancy. And our guest, Victor. Welcome to the show again, Victor. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much for having me, Alvin. I'm happy to be back. And I'm very excited for you to see what we have for your birthday. Dude, I'm super anxious. I cannot wait to turn around right now and check it out. I'll light the candle for you. One, two, three. Yo, it's like this, like the skyscraper of uh, cakes. I can't even talk right now. It's massive. Holy cow. Do you want to stay back there? Dude, no, I don't. I mean, yes. <laughs> um, holy cow. I really just want to take it all in from close. You want to come take it's a look? It's gorgeous. Please, please. All right, Alvin, you go over step there. aside. Let me get in there. Oh, man. Oh, and then you hit the mini. B oh, my God. Look at the. They snuck the little mini one in there, too, people. Check this out. Holy cow. Alvin, I think you really knocked it out of the park with this one, bro. Thanks, man. Knocked it out of the park, man. Everybody, oh, man. happy oh, birthday to you. Everybody, come on. Happy we can't birthday. see you. Great to, to you. Me. Woo! 
Wow, that's always awkward, but everybody thank clap. Thank you very much. Everybody clap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make a wish, make a wish. Woo! I'll cut you a slice. Please. Ooh, the knife is being completely engulfed inside this cake. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you some more later. Look at that. Here you go, Victor. Oh here's your, man. Here's your cake slice. Dude, this slice is bigger than the whole cake. <laughs> All right, cheers, man. Cheers, Alvin. Wow. Oh. Bro, that is phenomenal. It's cool, right? I think you've made me the perfect cake, Alvin. Thank you, that means a lot, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy right now. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to eat this all, but you better believe I'm gonna eat this all. This is slim. You really made my birthday something special this yeah. year. Yeah, what a fun way to close <laughs> off this season. I hope you guys had a fun time watching. It's a good thing that Victor and I both like this cake because we're gonna spend some time with this cake. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks for coming, Vic, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Till next time, baby. Bye.